Shumai everyone, it's Johnny Villan here and it's uh, it's Christmas. So first of all, a very Merry Christmas to you, a happy holidays, a season's greetings. Uh, it's a bit of a different one this time because I haven't got my set up because I'm visiting family. I hope that uh, uh, you've had plenty of time with family and friends this day. Uh, and we've just all sat down to watch Doctor Who. I'm in my Doctor Who Christmas jumper and I'm taking this video on a phone, which is a, a bit... Um, different but as always uh, I wanted to get my thoughts out on this so that uh, we can have discussion in the comments. Uh, if you've been watching on Disney Plus uh, outside the UK do leave a comment down below what you thought and uh, let me know uh, how was the experience for you and uh, as always the first part of this review will be spoiler free and then I'll go into spoiler territory when uh, I will start talking about the details of the episode. So Spoiler free version, this episode was a lot of fun. Like, I actually didn't know what to expect going into this. I knew that there had been leaks about the episode and plot points of the episode. Um, but man, what a fun episode. Like, for me, this is like pure fun. Like, it combines everything that you would want from a Doctor Who episode. I like, got the new Doctor, uh, Shuji Gatwa just commands in the role. Like, from moment one, um, through to the end. It's like, he is the Doctor now um, from beginning to end. And it was a perfect um, start for him and setting up the rest of uh, his first full season, which is coming in May, uh, which will be uh, very excited. Millie Gibson as the new companion, uh, again, gets plenty um, of opportunity to show the full range of her acting ability. Uh, there's emotion and there's comedy. There's everything that you want from her as well. Um, I'm excited to know uh, more about her in the upcoming season because um, a lot of the plot of this episode was about her and sort of a better mystery surrounding her. Um, the What I thought was amazing about this is that uh, it once again shows that uh, um, the production value of Doctor Who is better than it's ever been before. There were so many good sets, so many good um, directed moments, action, it was action packed. And um, I thought that even the Goblin, I mean, I haven't watched Doctor Who Unleashed yet, but the Goblins uh, and how they did this um, with each sort of like, when they show like the crowd of Goblins and they have each uh, sort of like individual ones, like each one is individual, like they don't have like the same Goblin over and over again. And they all act, react to things that are happening in the episode. It was fun. There was moments that like you make you smile. There was a proper... Uh, Christmas episode if like it I know we haven't had a Christmas episode in a long time but I it's it's up there with one of the best Christmas episodes that has been in a long time um I thought it was it had everything that you need for the for the first viewer you know you have the doctor introduce the companion everything sort of from the eyes of the companion um since it's the first time she meets the doctor you have introductions of the sonic the tardis at the end and there was even some good twists uh, in about the middle of the episode and uh, especially at the end, which of course will set up uh, the season that is coming. Um, overall, I thought this was um, a super fun episode that was um, well written and like completely like shows what they can do now with one episode of Doctor Who, one special episode. The special effects and the action sequences were really cool. Uh, even if you would have known that there was um, a musical number in this, this was so fun. Like it put like a smile on my face when I was watching this. Um, and I cannot wait to see what else happens um, in the upcoming season. So uh, overall, in my opinion, one of the best um, Christmas specials. There's been a great introduction to Shuti. Um, particularly with the way that he's like written into the script. Um, it does pay homage to, I think, the episode Rose, which was his first episode, Rusty Davis, the first episode of the um, back that I was watching it thinking there's a lot of similarities here. Um, and I think it's great. I think the future is very bright and hopefully the wait until May is not so long. So I'm going to go into a spoiler territory now as I talk about a few things in the episode. Um, so this is your spoiler warning. If you haven't had a chance to watch yet, go watch the episode, come back and uh, uh, listen to what I have to say about like this other part of the episode and put your comments down below and I'll give a score at the end. So I think the f the main thing about this episode is that it's um, it's centered around the mystery of Ruby being left at a church uh, as a baby. And this whole um, 
this whole mystery like stretched throughout the whole episode and it plays a whole part about the goblins and the baby snatching and things like that um which i thought was really um really cool um and uh i think that the um what i thought was really cool is the goblins themselves the ship looks amazing and like what I said before when I was thinking about that, like, oh, it's very much pays homage to Rose, is because Shuti Gatwa comes in already as the Doctor. Like, it's not like a usual regeneration episode where he's a bit goofy and, like, he's a bit discompobulated. Um, but he's... he. It, you get the impression that from the minute he enters in the first thing, he's been the Doctor for a while. He's investigating these goblin occurrences already. We don't know how long it's been since the bi-generation in the last episode. So he comes in, already the Doctor, already investigating, which is exactly what Christopher Eccleston was doing in the first episode when he meets Rose. Um, and I think this works really well um, for Shuti to just enter in as the Doctor straight away, showcasing the full um, the fullness of him in the role. Um, and then you've got him and his chemistry with Millie Gibson as she's, um, you know, brought into this world of goblins and things like that. I think for the one thing I will say about the goblins is that people people knew from Russell T. Davis that he was going to take a step into like fantasy and this wasn't going to be like goblins that have um, uh, a sci-fi explanation. And here you have um, exactly that where you have like the language of coincidence and things like that. That's how it's explained in the episode. So I think uh, this is um, something that I will need to rewatch to understand properly. Um, and from what I gather, it won't be the, the last time as well. There'll be lots of new rules um, uh, regarding enemies in Doctor Who, uh, which I think in this case, um, although I will need to rewatch to understand, you get the idea that like, especially when he was on the ship with the ropes and things like that, um, that he has to like speak in the language of the ropes and stuff because it's all a bit mythical and like um, you know fantasy not exactly science fiction um, there will be more of this and I'll be interested to see how this continues let me know what your, your thoughts about this it didn't actually um, go into much detail of it um, but I did think that the this idea of the language of coincidence was was particularly interesting considering how there was a good, a really good link with how Russell T. Davis takes on board the whole Timeless Child arc when the Doctor has this moment saying that he was also adopted and then uh, uh, Ruby's mum saying like, oh, that's a coincidence. And then he uses the Timeless Child arc as part of this story and it sort of begins to ingrain actually what happened into uh, the Doctor Who universe a bit more than I think Chibnall had a chance to in his time at the at the show. Um, but then, of course, the plot comes with, um, uh, the plot just comes when Ruby gets taken as a baby, like these goblins have time riding capabilities and they want to take her coincidence filled life and eat her as a baby. And then this comes to, I think, the, the most awesome part of the episode, if you like action, where the doctor uses this, um, these psychic gloves or the, the gravity uh, gloves that he has, which can hold all your weight, which I thought was really funny because in the initial bits when he's explaining like oh it's because we hang off a lot of things and like it's a lot to take uh with the friction and the gravity and stuff like that so the glove takes all your weight so basically you're weightless and then he, in the end he's like you can reverse it and then you have full gravity and shooty get us doctors with these gravity gloves pulling an entire ship the goblin ship down into the church where the church skewers the ship and now at this point i was like wow like how cool was that and it was brilliantly done brilliantly shot very very action uh packed and just like that uh shooty saves the day um in the most epic way in his first full episode in the uh in the show so um i thought that uh this was really cool like really cool i think that was the, the money shot on that uh, and i hope there'll be much more epic um action scenes in the upcoming season um overall i think uh this episode was 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 truly um one of the best christmas specials you ever had uh plenty of action i had a blast watching it the music was great uh not just um uh, the Christmassy themed music, but Murray Gold uh, giving the first episode with Shooty um, sort of the full musical touch. And 
it's the perfect start, you know, for the season that's coming up. And I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, you have Mrs. Uh, Flood, who now knows what a TARDIS is and was sort of egging uh, Ruby to go into the police box. So we'll have to find out who she is. Uh, do let me know uh, who do you think she is. I have to think about it myself because I'm not entirely sure so far. Um, but she was going to play uh, a key part in the upcoming season, no doubt. Um, but, okay, finally, final overall reaction and score. One of the best, for me, one of the best Christmas specials they've had in a long time. Uh, and that includes before, um, uh, before we didn't have Christmas special for a good five or six years. And uh, then we have... Um, the great introduction to Shuti's Doctor, who takes command of the role from minute one throughout to the end. Millie Gibson uh, is good. The, ke the chemistry between her and Shuti was really uh, good to watch, and I'm looking forward to seeing how that evolves. Um, but most of all for me, the action, the goblins, the special effects, the um, set pieces, the, the overall ending was so awesome <laughs> that I was like... Yeah, this I, I really enjoyed this. It was a blast. It was such a fun episode. Um, and, uh, you know, it made me realize that I missed seeing the Doctor Who Christmas episodes. Uh, so it fills you with a, a lot of um, happiness, I think, if you're a Doctor Who fan. Uh, so what am I going to give this? I think it's easily a nine, easily a nine out of ten for everything. It's a bit of everything for the Doctor Who fans and uh, for a newcomer as well. It's, it's what the show is all about. Uh, so easily a nine out of ten. Um, so yeah, let me know what you thought. Uh, do put a comment down below. I'll do my best to respond over the coming days. But uh, uh, as always, when this show comes back, I will be doing these reviews again for every episode. So do click like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, yeah, with all that said and done, uh, thanks very much for watching. And I wish you again a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Bye!